on everything. Lunch is in the fridge, 20 minutes at 180. Would you like me to write that down? What? Write it down. But everything is done, so all you have to do is concentrate on studying. It's empty. What is? She's used all the milk. There's another one in the fridge. I've made some nut and seed enriched flapjacks. No, there isn't. They're in the fridge. Apparently, they're good for your brain. I'm just, I'm just a bit sore. Chasing? Yeah. Mm. yeah. You should get yourself a good sports bra, they really help. Right. <laughs> Do I know you? Um, you didn't used to teach at St Mary's, did you? No. I used to be an athlete. Oh! oh you're Deanna Ryan! Oh, I don't believe it! Oh, of course, I, I saw you in the paper last week, you were running that marathon for that, um, oh, that, that charity. Mary Brown Trust. <laughs> I don't believe it. I can't <laughs> believe I didn't recognise you. I saw you win silver medal. Well, well, I saw you on the teller. I was gutted when you didn't win gold. Yeah, me too. <gasps> Should have won it. Sorry. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean it. Oh, did you want some cream for that? No. I've, I've got some inside. I'm a nurse. I, I work here. I don't really... <laughs> I can't believe I told you to get a good sports bra. No, you we're... must think I'm such an idiot. It's fine, it's fine. Um, some cream would be great. <laughs> this way. Of you. But I wanted to do the heptathlon too, but I didn't. <coughs> well, obviously. Sorry, what happened? Grew up. It was a little girl thing, really, but I didn't have the confidence for it. <laughs> Still do sports? Not really. But, oh, I'd love to run a marathon. Well, then you should. I don't know, I'd probably give up halfway through. <laughs> no, everyone thinks like that. You just have to tell yourself, I'm going to keep going right through to the finish line. <laughs> Easy for you to say. No, it's not. But I tell you, once you get there, it, it is the best feeling in the world. <laughs> this way. <laughs> oh, that looks painful. Uh, it is painful. Really painful. It's fractured in two places. So... How did you do that? It was a fight. Some fuck went mental on me and never gave me a chance to defend myself. Well, if you will get into fights... Well, no, he started it. The police are going to do him. They said he might go down for good. Well, well at least that is something, huh? Yeah, well, it doesn't stop the pain, though. Oh, oh you poor man. Funny being in a doctor's. Usually avoid these places like the plague. Why? Well, I've always thought that exercise and a healthy lifestyle is the best way of taking care of yourself. <laughs> I'd bet have a job if everyone thought like that. <laughs> Are you sure that's just chafing? It's not swollen, no lumps? No. It could be an infection. Mastitis? No, it's fine, really. It'll, it will go away. Do you know how to check your breasts? Mm. And you do it regularly? Yes, miss. Sorry, am I being bossy? No, no, just very professional. Quite unlike the starstruck little girl I was talking to outside. Oh, sorry. You must get so sick of people like me. No, are you kidding? You made my day. <laughs> OK. I don't know what to do with a pair of them. The closer the exams get, the more stressed they are. Mm -hmm. It's like living in a minefield. I think I'm going mad. Sounds like they need a break. It's me who needs a break. 
A bit of exercise, maybe. Clear their heads. I've tried all that. Fresh air, exercise, doesn't make a blind bit of difference. Five minutes later, they're back at each other's throats. What kind of exercise? Oh. All the normal things I've tried. I mean, maybe I should go really wild and try something like Kung Fu or yoga. Yoga's not wild. Fill the top bit Very in. sensible form of exercise. Well, that might work. They don't know the meaning of sensible. This is Diana Ryan. Hello. Oh, she's famous. Hey, she won a silver medal in the heptathlon. At the Olympics. Oh. And she's running a marathon next month. It was in the Leatherbridge Gazette. I remember reading about that. Oh, hey, maybe we could sponsor you. If you like. I wish I was able to run a marathon. Why don't you? No, no, I couldn't do that. Why not? Bad genes. My mum died of a heart attack. That's all the more reason to exercise. You and Rob could do one together. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Rob, running a marathon. <laughs> Ambling, maybe. <laughs> well, lots of people walk marathons. You walk a marathon? What, what would be the point? Oh, well, because walking can be very good exercise. It's safe. Reduces stress, releases endorphins. Releases what? Endorphins. Isn't that what you get from having sex? <laughs> Could be. Mm, <laughs> might be just the thing. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me! Yes? This was horrible. You did not like the food? No, and it wasn't what I asked for. Oh, I am sorry to hear that. I wanted a chip pie. I am not actually a member of the catering staff. Why, why can't I get a chip pie? But I do know they work very hard, and you should be grateful. Who are you? I beg your pardon. Are you one of those posh do-gooders? Well, I hope that I am doing some good, but unfortunately I am not posh, as you say. You look posh. Oh, well, that is very kind of you. Thank you. It's not a compliment. So, why would you want a chip butty for breakfast? Because it's better than the junk that they serve here. Oh, no, the food here is very healthy. I exactly, it's rubbish. They wouldn't know good food if it sat on them. So, what is so special about your chip butty? Oh. Well, first you start with two slices of buttered white bread, then you add the chips thick and chunky, and then smother it in brown sauce. It sounds like the recipe for a heart attack. Mm. It's the perfect cure for a hangover. Well, if I ever have a hangover, I will be sure to try one. You, you've never even had a hangover? <sighs> you know, power walking doesn't just reduce stress. It helps you sleep better. It gives you energy. Mm. Oh, hey, man. Your friend didn't fill in her form properly. There's no home number, no GP. Hmm. Sorry about that. It's not your fault. Now, I think it might be just the thing for Jacqueline. What? The walking thing. Oh, yeah. And you. Well, I suppose I could, if it encourages them. I mean, you wouldn't believe the things I've done for those two. I've even looked up brain food on the internet. And? Nut and seed flapjacks. Thought it might help. Did it? Well, I don't know, but a bit of healthy food can't hurt, can it? Hey, that's the last one. Sir, do you here? No. I'm bigger than you. I have faster metabolism. And you're a really greedy pig. And if I don't ace these exams, I won't get onto my course. Jack, these are my resits. They're my last chance. <laughs> oh, well done. You are disgusting. I don't understand why you have to do this marathon anyway. I know you don't. Too much. What happened? Nothing. Then what took you so long? I bumped into someone. Who? Some girl. She recognised me. Who was she? No one. She saw the article in the paper. What does she want? Nothing. Well, she could have been anyone. James, don't be ridiculous. She wasn't some crazy person. She was a perfectly normal young woman. And what if she wasn't? Please stop trying to find reasons why I shouldn't run this marathon. It's for a very good cause. Oh, that's typical. Always thinking about everybody else. Now, what's so wrong with her? When are you going to start thinking about yourself? Or me? Look, the training is good for me. Being recognised is good for me. I like it when people remember what I've done. It makes me feel good. And, and if I feel good, then it is good. For both of us. I just don't want anything to happen to you. 
They won't. Oi! It's that uh, this telly's not working. Oh, shh! You will wake everybody up. I can't get it to work. <sighs> Let me have a look. Lend me a quid. I beg your pardon? You have to pay for it. Well, that is probably why it is not working. So why don't you put a quid in the thing? I am not giving you money. Come on, there's a programme that I really want to watch. I can get you a, a magazine or a book. A magazine? It, it, it's not going to kill you to lend me £3.50, is it? You said you wanted a pound. Three fifty gets you the whole day. I am not a bank. Well, why don't you go and uh, get me some money out of that fund? What fund? The fund that they have for people with no money for the telly. There is no such fund. Yes, there is. It's new. It's part of the reforms. But well, what is the name of this fund? I don't know. The, the, the nurse told me about it yesterday. Oh, which nurse? The top one. I can't remember her name. I think I would know if there was something like this. Go on, ask. No. Why not? Because I do not want to make a fool of myself. Well, then you will never know, will you? Well, if I go and ask, will you promise to be quiet? I cannot believe I am doing this. Let, let me a tenner before you go. Look, a tenner gets you three days. It's cheaper like that. Do you think I was born yesterday? I am so sorry. Um... You know, good exercise while you're studying will actually keep you calm during your exams. Really? Yeah. Swimming, fast walking, cycling. The fast walking, that's, that's like the power walking. Yeah, it'll work. And you could show them? Who? Jack and Amy, I could get them down at lunch. Oh, I suppose. You could be like their personal trainer. It's perfect. Yeah, I wasn't thinking... <sighs> you came all this way to get me to fill in this form? Not really, no. Then why? Something you said earlier got me worried. What? About the pain you're having. Pain? What pain? Why don't I get a wheelchair? Uh, because you can walk. And besides, you can only push one person at a time. Well, well, you, well you could push me. I am not a porter. Yeah. Well, my shoulder really hurts when I walk. It's the truth. No, you are incapable of telling the truth. I cannot believe you made me ask about that charity fund <laughs> when you knew it did not exist. It is not funny. It's worth a go. That was nice. Excuse me? They suit you. I suppose you want these two. No. They look nice on you. They probably look a bit silly on me. <laughs> I have had enough of your tricks. Besides, you need to concentrate on your physiotherapy. Now go. I have work to do. Physiotherapy is a waste of time. A physiotherapy can help before an operation. It can make quite a difference. Now, I was talking uh, to my good friend, Dr. Carter. Now, he said physiotherapy is a way of... Uh, now, where did he go now? Why didn't you tell me you'd gone to see a nurse? She didn't go and see a nurse. I bumped into her while I was running. Then how does she know about the pain? I was uncomfortable. She gave me some cream. I can't believe you didn't tell me about this. It's getting worse, isn't it? No. What is? We had an agreement. Please don't do this. You said you'd tell me when it got worse. It's what? not getting worse. It's nothing. You didn't tell her, did you? Don't. Tell me what? You promised. You can't keep avoiding it. What is going on? She's got cancer. Breast cancer. <gasps> this is your fault. Oh, you are not wearing that, are you? Why not? I don't see the point in this. You've got to concentrate, settle your mind so you can pass your exams. What, by going for a walk? A power walk. Mild exercise stimulates neurogenesis. See? What? The creation of neurons. Makes you brainy. Enhances your mood. Stops you murdering each other. Releases endorphins. You what? Never mind. So, what do we do? Well, we won't go mad for a start. 
we'll uh, start at your walking pace, normal walking pace, and gradually work up, okay? It's gonna be brilliant. Right, off we go. Oh. <laughs> We've got to pass these examples. Yeah, just to get away from these nutters. She's always had this stupid idea that a bit of exercise and a proper diet can cure anything. She ignored all the warning signs. How bad is it? Bad. She was diagnosed far too late. She isn't getting any treatment? None. She refuses. That's crazy. I know. Nothing I can do. What does her consultant say? She won't see him. What if she's got cancer and she really... Can you talk to her? Convince her to go back to the hospital? I can try. She likes you. She might listen. Oi, what are you doing? Nothing. You think you can beat me? Maybe. Oi, I thought you said you didn't see the point. You won't win. I don't need to. Hey, that's cheating! I understand how you feel about doctors. Do you? But this is different. We should let them help you. What if they can't? They will. At least let them try. No. But you can't give up. You, of all people. It's not quite that simple. You're a fighter. When you were competing, you never gave up. Has he told you what kind of breast cancer I have? No. Inflammatory. Oh. Treatment might extend my life. It won't save it. I am going to die. But if it can extend your life... A few then... months, maybe. But what about everything you said to me this morning? You can never give up. You've got to keep on pushing through to the finish line. That's exactly what I'm doing. No. You know... I have a choice, Mandy. Three months of a reasonably good life. Or six to eight months of... Endless days in hospital, treatments, drips, drugs, side effects, depression. Might not be that bad. You're a nurse, you know exactly how bad it will be. I want to save him that pain. It's not what he wants. So what would you do? If it was you? If it was someone I loved, I'd want to spend every moment I could with him. And that's exactly what I'm doing. By refusing treatment. I want to be here for him, as strong and as positive as I can be, right through to the end. He doesn't want you to be strong. He wants you to be alive. Well, if I go back into hospital, I won't be. Yes, you will. You know, he told me every day with you is like a lifetime. I want every minute with him to be a lifetime too. And this way, it will be. The few weeks I have with him will be a thousand times richer than however many months I may have in hospital. Maybe. It's not the amount of time you have. It's what you do with the time you've got. All right, well, at least... Listen. I probably won't ever run this marathon, but at least when there's a chance that I might. I have a goal. I feel... I feel alive. I feel properly alive. You must see that. Yeah. And that's how I want to be right through to the end. That's how I want him to remember me. I won? No, you didn't. It's not a race. Exactly. I still won. It's good to see you're pushing yourselves, though. Can't we just run? Well, I suppose you could. It's best to work up gradually. If you knock yourself out, it's not going to help you with your exams. I've completely forgotten about my exams. Oh, good. It's working, then. Oh, I'm glad something is. You all right? I think I'm going to die. <laughs> Mom, this is a bit of walking. I'll tell you something else that might work. Think about life after exams. Set yourself goals not related to them. 
like a bucket list. If you like. Well, I'll tell you what, well, maybe you could add running a marathon to yours. <laughs> <laughs> I could if I wanted to. I think I might be a bit young for a bucket list. Well, think about something to do in the summer. Like what? Oh, anything. Don't concentrate on it. Just run and it'll come. Ooh. OK, come on. We've only just stopped. I'm sorry. That's it? Sorry? That's all you can say? James. You're just going to let it go? It's not my choice. You're a nurse. You're supposed to help people, not turn your back on them. Some nurse you are. No, no, it's OK. He's just upset. I can't do that one. I can't do that one. How am I supposed to do that? And that, and that, and that. There's nothing, none of this I can do. I was thinking about doing some voluntary work for the Citizens Advice Bureau. Well, there you are. There's your goal. It's still related to my exam, though. Yeah, but so is my printing course. Yeah, but it's something to focus on after the exam, so it's not the be-all and end-all. Yeah, I guess. I thought this was supposed to make me feel good. It will, eventually. I don't even feel horny. Mother! It'll be easier next time. <laughs> next time? Yeah, why not? We could ask Julia to come with us. Why would she? She's getting her endorphins the proper way. I, I, um, I heard you talking to Martin this morning. What about their weekend away? Yeah. Actually, that's a really good idea. Maybe that should be my summer goal. Get myself a sugar daddy. Imogen. What? You think you're the only one with endorphins? He was only trying to help you with your recovery. No, he wasn't. He was just covering his back because he doesn't know what he's talking about. I'm sure he does. No. Why does he keep telling me that it's up to me whether I get better or not? Because there is only so much surgery can do. And what they are asking you to do is not so difficult. It is for me. You just need to work on your physiotherapy and keep it up. Apart from that, a, a regular schedule, plenty of rest, a balanced diet. How am I supposed to get a balanced diet? Make sure you eat the right thing. I can't cook. Everyone can cook. What about your chip butties? You can't live on chip butties. Well, at least we agree on something. But it is a start. Why didn't your mother teach you how to cook anything else? I didn't know my mother. So, who raised you? I was in care, mostly. What are we going to do with these? Well, there must be someone who can help. I've got no one. There's no money and there's no job. And all I've done before this was casual labour. And now, I can't even do that. I can see what she means about quality of life, but she could have another four, five months. That's not long. It is to him. You know, I started to think about how I'd feel if... if you were dying of cancer. Hey. I mean, it'd be bad enough losing you, but having to watch you die like that... I think I'd want to keep hold of you for as long as possible. Is that selfish? No. And you. Yeah. Uh, see, how are you supposed to have confidence in your job when there's no straight answers? I was so determined to be like you. When I went in there, I didn't know what to do. It was right. What kind of nurse am I? Hey. A really, really good one. I may as well have not been there. Hey, come on. I'm afraid I was no use to anybody. You don't know that. I was useless. Listen to me. Medicine, it's just as much about art as science, right? Getting the balance. I'm pretty sure that takes a lifetime, and even then, even then you might not manage it. But today, today you had a really good go at it. Even if you can't see that. OK? <laughs> Come on. You are a young man. You can turn your life around. How do you know? It must have been difficult growing up the way you did. But that was in the past. You must not give up. Don't 
talk to me like I'm a kid. I was not. You people are all the same. None of you care about me. I was only trying to help. What makes you think I trust you more than the doctor? Uh, you must trust the doctor. I hate doctors. What gives them the right to order me around? No one is ordering you around. Everybody orders me around. I know a great many doctors, and they are wonderful people. No, they're not. Decent, hard-working. They sacrifice a lot for people like you. Yeah? You know who did this? The maniac who attacked me? It was a doctor with a cricket bat. He tried to kill me, and even when I was down, he just kept on hitting me. And that's doctors for you. That is not true. Yes, it is. Is. They're all the same. What's the matter? Where are you going? I know who you are. You don't know anything about me. You are a robber and a criminal and a trickster. What? Dr. Carter would never do any of the things you said. guy I was seeing? You just bit him. I think he's trying to kill me. I might not have the same airs and graces as you and your doctor colleagues, but I am entitled to the same rights. But this is about me, isn't it? <laughs> oh! Oh! It's a bit of a drama queen. Mandy's 